everybody, Joe Workman here. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at the total CMS select stacks. Now, these stacks don't have an exact use case, right? I mean, they're kind of th you know tools that you can use for a lot of various things. And I'm very interested, interested to see how you and other people use them, okay? Essentially, it's a drop-down box that you can have pre-made content. And then you can do things based on that content. Either you can just display it Okay, or you can do things and show things and hide things based on that content as well. So let's show you. I think it'd be a lot easier. Let's go ahead and look at what select can do for us. Okay, so here I am inside the total CMS demo project. And if we look down here, I have a very simple example for a total select. And as you see, it's just a drop down box that we can choose pre made content that we've made. Okay. So if you want to change it, you can go ahead and select a new value. And just like a text box, it turns red and you actually have to save it, right? So I can go ahead and save that, Command S, we'll save it. Or we can click the Save button if there was one on the page. Now let's go and look at what that did to our content. So here I am on the content page and we've actually done a couple things with it. So here, this content, okay, mark down, this is pre-made content from the total select this actual text was inserted by me selecting that choice inside the select box. Now also, um, this particular area down here, since I changed it from that show value, this particular area has hidden a piece of stacks content. So if I now go and make this HTML, it's gonna put in different text content um, inside there. Okay, and if I change it to the show value, which I'm gonna do now and save it, what it's done now is in this particular text area, that text inside that select box said show. Now this isn't a great use case for displaying text in that manner, but this is just a purpose of showing you a use case where based on the value of that select box, I can show content on the page. So in this area, in this particular area, I said, if this selects box has a value of show, let's go ahead and show this image that wasn't there before. So here we have the select box inside edit mode on the admin page. And here I set my CMS ID to be select. And then you can select your placeholder, which is gonna be you know the text that shows up if nothing is selected, okay? You can show a save button if you want, just like a normal text area. And then you can hide the select setup in edit mode if you wanted to. Now, what you'll notice here is inside the select box, I have child of stacks that define all of my pre-made content. So as we see in this first option, I have markdown. I set the label to be markdown. And when the customer chooses that option, this is the text content that will be inserted. Now you can reference all the values that are saved with select via any ways you would normally access a text stack, okay? So I can use macros, I can use the format macros to, to reference this data and insert it wherever you want. And this particular option in the show, I just set it to have a label of show and then a value of show. And here I have added another select value that actually contains HTML in this value. Now this is rather simple, but you can really get as complex as you want with this HTML so that users can turn on and off various things, right? Okay, so this is powerful. We can have a select box where a customer can choose from pre-made text. Now in this particular example, I'm, I'm doing, um, you know, just as a sample, some markdown HTML, and then a simple just plain text where the value is a single word, right? Um, normally you're not gonna mix these up. Maybe you have an on off switch where maybe the toggle doesn't make sense and you wanna actually have words, right? In the office, out of the office, or you wanna have a project status on the page where it's in progress, where it's, you know, work order, um, you know, completed, closed, some things of that nature, right? Maybe that's what you want to use select for, okay? Really, it's just a way of defining pre-made content. And you can use that pre-made content in two ways. And let's go to the content page and look at that. 
So here I am on the content page. And as I said, we can reference the text saved with the select stack as text. So here I'm using the text stack and I set my CMS ID to be select. And as you see here, I'm formatting with markdown. Now you can also just take this macro that is displayed here and use it anywhere. Or you can use the plain text macro, which is just percent select percent, right? And you can use that wherever you want. The same places you can use your text macros, okay? This one is just selects from predefined text snippets that you've defined. Now we do have a select show stack, okay? And this is where we can actually show or display content based on text. Now you give it a CMS ID. Now, to be honest, the CMS ID could be any text stack you want. Um, it, it makes sense for a select admin side because you can pre-do those and, and explicitly define content IDs, okay? And what content those values will have. But this CMS ID can seriously reference any sort of text area, okay, uh, within the CMS. Now, your logic, okay, is gonna be equal to, not equal to. If you wanna base it on numbers, you can have it greater than or less than. And then you can also have contains string. Okay, contain string is different than equals because equal or not equal is, is it exactly show? So in this instance, if the select ID has a content value of show, then this condition will be satisfied and the content will be shown, okay? However, if you have contains string, it could be as long as if the data within this uh, CMS ID contains this value, then show my content, right? So this is just a, a more useful and more elaborate toggle, okay? It's a way of, of displaying your content and in a more rich manner and have more advanced logic around it. And every, that's select everybody. I mean, it's, as you see, it's a very general purpose tool, right? To doing pre-made text, okay? Um, you can use that text as markdown. You could use it to maybe display a status on the page or do entire paragraphs or HTML widgets. Um, or you can use it to show and hide content based on the value that the user has selected, right? So it's very flexible, right? I kind of left it wide open to your imagination, right? So you use it the way you want to, right? Um, I can't wait to see how you use it. Maybe you're using it in ways that I never thought of, and that excites me. So go forth, and I hope Select makes your websites great. Thanks, everybody. Bye.